I have something to share with you today. This is a ceremony that's come down hidden in plain sight to all of us through the fantastic folklorist uh, Bessie Jones, through Sweet Honey in the Rock, Dr. Reagan. It goes all the way back to the self-emancipator Frederick Douglass, and it's gotten mixed up with some other things. So I want to talk to you about that today. Now, as I'm sure you know, it was very stressful back in the antebellum. That was before the Civil War days for African people that got brought over here to work uh, for no pay. Very, very stressful indeed. And as you know, you must have some way to relieve that stress. So what the people in the quarters did was they developed this song, this rhythm pattern to help get the stress off. Now, before we get started, I know a lot of you heard about Hambone, you know, Hambone, Hambone, have you heard? Rhyming sound and rhyming word. That's party music that goes way, way back too. But right now, I'm gonna talk to you about Patton Juba, which even though it is a release and fun as party, it is not just party music, it is purge music. If you go back to Dunumba, if you go to, go to Lamba Ganapoli, there are many, many ceremonies that are used, matter of fact, all over the world, to get the stress off. And Juba is one of those. Uh, the rhythm for Juba, if you look at it, most places you're gonna find it like this. And you sing on top of that. Uh, Juba this and Juba that. Juba kill the yellow cat. Are we down in double trouble, Juba. Huh. Well, we're going to funk it up a little bit for you today. Uh, based on what you find when people that played the banjo back in the 1840s and 1850s, they wrote the rhythm down for Juba going. We down double trouble, Juba, huh? We cook the meal, you give us the husk. We make the bread, you give us the crust. We cook the meat, you give us the skin. And that's how my grandma's troubles begin. The rhythm, the rhythm is deep. It can take you to go someplace and go chanting and trancing out with it. Really, really cool. Let me show you how it breaks down. Right hand, left hand. Right on your knee, left over right and say up, down, over, up, down, over, up, uh. up, down, over, up, down, over, up, uh, up, down, over, up, down, over, up, uh, up, down, over, up, down, over, up, up, down, over, up, down, over, up, up, down, over, up, down, over, up, up, down, over, up, down, over, up. Juba this and Juba that. Juba kilt to yellow cat. Way down in double trouble, Juba. Ha! Huh. We cook the meal. You give us the husk. We cook the bread. You give us the crust. We make the meat. You give us the skin. And that's how my grandma's troubles begin. You know, Juba is a spirit. More than just a song. It's something that the people used to help them get along. And you sing that and you let it go because as you know, even no matter what's going on in your life, if you hold on to the pain, if you hold on to that hate, if you internalize that, holding on to hate is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. We can't have that happen. And the ancestors, those that survived those horrors, knew that too. So they developed this. Up, down, over, up, down, over, up. Uh. Here's a story that expresses that same thing. Kweku <laughs> and Kwame were in the quarters talking. And Kweku said, man, I am so sick of the situation we're in. I get beat. I get chastised. I have to work, work, work for nothing. Kwame says, you know, I know exactly what you mean. So whenever I get pent up like that, I cuss out the master. And Kwaku says, what? You cuss out the master? 
And Kwame says, yeah, I got to get it off my chest, man. I just go up, I cuss him out. I say anything I want. And Quico says, really? So I said, of course. And you didn't get beat? No, of course not. Do I look beat? Look at that, nothing. So Quaku says, wow, yes, I got to get this off my chest. So Quaku goes right up to Massa and cusses a blue streak, tells him all about how he's really feeling, you know. Well, next thing he knows, he wakes up in bed, all beat up. And Kwame goes and visits him. And Quaku says, what happened? What happened? He says, you got knocked down for talking to the Massa. And... And, 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 and Quaker says, wait a minute, but you told me you cussed out Massa and nothing happened. And Kwame said, yeah, of course I cussed him out, but I wasn't fool enough to say it to his face. But I knew I had to say it. And Quaker just moaned and couldn't even roll over. But he understood the lesson. You have to get it out. Up, down, over, up, down, over, up. Uh, up, down, over, up, down, over, up. Up, down, over, up, down, over, up. Up, down, over, up, down, over, up. Juba this and Juba that. Juba killed a yellow cat. Way down in double trouble, Juba. Uh. Juba this and Juba that. Juba killed a yellow cat. Way down in double trouble, Juba. Huh. Juba Ma and Juba Pa. And Juba for your mother-in-law. Juba you and Juba me. And this is what we do to keep our spirits 